Welcome to WISIS Forum here in Geneva. And joining me is uh, Tatiana Canzavelli. Tatiana, you're the CEO of the Open Health Network based in the USA. Welcome. Thank you for getting me on the show. Glad to be here. Uh, the theme of uh, WISIS Forum 2022 is well-being, resilience, and inclusion. And uh, the Open Health Network is very much sort of plugged into those goals, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. We're all about <clears throat> getting insights of diseases from causation to treatment and um, figuring out how to use lots of data that we can gather to early diagnose things or to find exact set of treatments that will treat you know very complex um, uh, diseases you know, at precision level for, for you. Um, and um, to do that, we collect um, lots of lots of data, uh, of course, with consent. Um, uh, and we partner with large healthcare organizations for that. And the types of data we collect is, um, I can give you examples. So we, for example, can ship to people seven different devices and sensors. So, and um, let's say for two weeks, we collect every single heartbeat, every single breathing, sleep patterns, but we also collect um, environmental in the context where you live because that impacts your health, such as, no, let's say, noise level, humidity. Then we send technicians to take blood tests. Then we take genetics data. And when we get that massive amount of multidimensional data sets, we actually creating a digital twin of you. And I think this is so A, super exciting, B, it gives us so many opportunities uh, to provide precision personalized care, but uh, even you know, move things in healthcare beyond that. And that is the future of healthcare. So um, I'm just thrilled that we can do all of those things you know, as we speak. And um, it, it is, tightly aligned with as you know sustainable uh, goal number three which is health for all and uh, hopefully we will be able to build um, digital twins at um, population level to start with so we can say let's take um, take a look at people in underserved communities um, who have sleep disorders, for example, right? So we can aggregate uh, at that level yeah. to start with. And it's data-driven, and then we can, you know, from uh, reducing cycle for drug development all the way to coming with precision level, you know, and personalized treatment options. But um, if I'm looking forward, then you know, I'm looking at having my digital twin that represents, for example, healthy me, yes. right? <laughs> and then constantly watching for little things that change in real me that deviate from healthy me so I can potentially identify little things early enough to go and check on them before it's too late. Because as humans, we tend to ignore, oh, I'm a little bit tired, that's okay, I, you know, I mm. didn't sleep well. So you see what I mean? So we go and see our physician when there's a healthcare emergency. Mm. Rather than when the, uh, the first signs exactly. are there. Exactly, we ignore, happening. we don't know, right? Yeah. We, we, uh, but if we can create, you know, AI algorithm and have this digital healthy thing that we can constantly compare against. Mm. It's so interesting. I wish you the very best of 
Best of luck with developing all these digital twins. Thank you. Tatiana Kanzavale, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.